Crafty Cuties. Welcome back to another episode of the Travel Junk Journal using a junk journal kit. Today we are going to move on to the pages and binding and adding a spot for a charm. Now in previous episodes I talked about how I was going to take you through the process of decorating the pages before binding them. However, I've changed my mind because guys, I really like to work with a blank surface, a blank canvas when I am doing my own junk journal and memory keeping. So I'm just going to stick to what I am finding that I really like. And so I'm not really, I'm not going to go through and do anything to these pages. Um, I'm even going to just keep this as is and I'll turn it into a folder when I get to that point because I'll be able to do that. Um, I'm not going to add any sewing to this. I just really need to get caught up. So sorry to disappoint you if, if that is a disappointment. However, I will definitely take you through some junk journal with me, um, pages, layouts, I mean, and so you'll get to see me do some decoration at the end. Okay. We're going to start out by adding a spot for the charm. Now I don't have my charm ready. However, I do have this turtle. This is something I got on vacation. I know I want to add it, so I need a spot for it. So normally I would add a charm ring, but today I'm going to add something a little bit different. And I have this little bracket. I forgot what you call these, but we're going to set this up right here. So I am going to, Basically, I'm just going to eyeball this and create a little hole. And I want it definitely towards the top and I'm just going to try to get it towards the middle. So I'm going to I'm going to start with a smaller hole using my crocodile just to see if that might be big enough. All right. Let's see here. I think I need the bigger hole. So, we'll switch over and go over to the bigger side. That should be good. Let's try that. Perfect, okay. Placement looks good as well. And to set this, I will use the top part of my crocodile. if that worked. I feel like I have trouble using this sometimes, but it's great. So now we have our spot here. There's some material in there, but that's okay. Um, and that way I can add my charm once I'm done. I think I'm going to add like a tassel to this and everything. So we're not even going to add that yet, but I wanted to get that down before we do any binding. Okay. So I have a piece of graph paper here. I'm going to use this to help me, um, make a template for where the holes are going and I'm going to mark a spot where that charm is or where that yeah so that I don't punch a hole up there I am going to fold this in half now this is going to you guys have seen me do this several times but I'm going to show you again I'm going to fold it in half again and on here I'm just going to mark my spots so I have two signatures so I'm going to need two rows I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half lengthwise so that I know where the middle is. And I'm just going to estimate. So I feel like I folded this too many times. No, I think I just have a fold mark on there. Okay. The middle is right here. So we're going to go over. So we're going to punch a hole right there. We're going to punch a hole right there. So I'm just marking where these holes will be. <clears throat> and then All right. And right there. Okay, good enough. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead first and punch the holes into our spine. So I'm just going to take my awl here. Just punch these all the way through. All right. So I'm going to finish punching these holes and I'll be right back. 
All right, so now I have the holes there. We need those same placement of holes into our signatures. So I'm going to use the same template here and I'm just going to kind of fold this in half and I'm going to mark where the middle is just because it's easier when I place this inside a signature to use the middle of this template. So you can see they're all in alignment there. Okay, so I have my signatures here. These are not very full signatures, especially because I haven't you, uh, added any anything to really bulk them up. So I really just need one paper clip on each side just to hold everything in place. I'm gonna do the same to this one here. I really recommend using paper clips to hold your signatures together before you do any binding or punching holes because that's kind of when things can get super messy if you do not. So then I'm going to take my template here, just line that up, and then I'm just gonna punch where those center holes are. And again, this is like, yeah, it's not very, um, bulky of a signature so it's super quick and simple easy to get um, very straight um, binding okay then we'll do this also make sure that you are paying attention to where the top is um, since i've marked a spot for the charm i know that's the top but if i don't have if i don't do that i will always write a t at the top so that i will remember that's the top and make sure that you are paying attention to the top of your signatures. Otherwise, um, things can get really messy there. All right, now we're gonna take some binding thread. This is my favorite binding thread. Let's see here. Um, and it is from Paper Source. If I remember, I will write the link below. It is a waxed linen thread and it's a really great price, but it's also very durable. Okay, so I'm doing three times the, the uh, height here and I'm going to do a cross stitch actually. So we're going to thread the needle and just bring it through a little bit. Okay, so I want this, to, I'm gonna start with the back one. I want this to be my back signature. We will go ahead and take our book here. I'm going to start into the middle hole and thread that through all the way through the spine. I'm gonna bring that through quite a bit. Now you can use a piece of washi to hold that in place, but I'm just gonna be careful. Uh, actually, you know what? I probably should grab some washi. Since I'm doing a cross stitch here, this is gonna get moved around quite a bit, but I can't find washi, so I'm gonna use a little piece of just double-sided tape. That way I don't have to worry about it coming out. Okay, so for the cross stitch, I'm gonna take my next signature, place it inside here. And now that we are on the outside middle hole, we are going to go into the top hole of the second signature, the next line over. I'm gonna make sure that this goes into the correct hole, the top. And I have an in-depth tutorial on this, so if you wanna see something a little bit better where I take more time to take you through, um, I will have that link below. So then we're gonna go down to the middle. This is pretty simple, especially when you're only using two signatures. So I definitely recommend practicing with just two. So then we're going to complete our first cross. We're gonna go over to the next signature, that first one we started with, and go to the top so that we can create that cross. And then you're gonna to have to kind of just open things up and try to guide it as well as you can into that top hole. Things are definitely gonna be moving around and you're, you're going to you can tighten everything up at the end. So, okay, just pulling everything as tight as I can for now, but again, we'll tighten it up as we go. So sorry if there is a shadow, guys. Okay, we're gonna go down to the bottom hole, out the bottom hole. So you can kind of see, so now we, we need to make that second cross. We're gonna go back into the center hole of this 
signature here. So we're going to go into that one twice. And again, just take your time with this. Even though I've done this a hundred times, you still got to take your time because you got to have things really lined up well. We're going to go into that center hole. And then we're going to go out the bottom. And, and then you can see where we need to go next is to the center hole of this signature right here. And again, you're going to have to really guide that in, take your time. And you will end where you started. So now it's really important to, I'm going to take that tape off. It's really important to make sure that everything is tightened up. You're going to have to kind of go back, you're going to have to go from the outside to the inside. I have a lot of little fuzzes here. Um, just making sure that everything is tightened. Mine looks pretty tightened because I've tightened it as I go. So then you're just going to take your two ends and go ahead, tie that off. And I do a double knot. And then you can trim some of this off as well. And there you go. So then you can take your paper clips off. I did just realize that I told you guys to cut two pieces of string. I forgot, you only need one. You need one piece of string per two signatures. So we didn't need that second piece, but everything is in. It turns really well. It lies really flat. This is one reason why I kind of really like to have a blank canvas because I know I'm going to be bulking it up a ton as I am adding things in. But there we go. Now we have our pages in. The only thing I have left to do now is to add those photos that are already matted and we can do some decorating and then I can get caught up to where I am finishing my summer photos and hopefully kind of take some time to finish off the rest of this journal. Um, I'm going to add a charm as well. Uh, like I said, I'll probably put something together other than just this was a necklace. Um, so I'm going to turn this into more of a charm or a tassel. So I'll show you that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.